Hey, FCF, uh, we're back again, and we're going to be in 2 Thessalonians now, chapter 2, verse 15. I am going to read you verse 14 that goes before it, just to give you some context. It says, He, meaning the Lord Jesus, He called you to this through our gospel that you might share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So it, one of the things that the good news about God is He's revealed Himself in Christ is calling us to is to be partakers of the glory of the Lord Jesus. Well, the glory of the Lord Jesus is the character. It's the life that he experiences inside as well as ultimately his heavenly domain. But now, so we're called to be partakers of that. Now, verse 15 is where our emphasis will be today. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm, hold to the teachings we passed on to you, whether by word of mouth or by letter. So, here we have this this exhortation to stand firm they had received teachings about the lord jesus about the truth about god and about life and they were uh, those that desired to partake of the glory of the lord jesus in other words they were people that were attracted to the idea the notion that they not only could receive god's forgiveness and gift of everlasting life in his kingdom but that by trusting in christ they could grow, they could develop, they could change to become like him, and they wanted to become like him. So these are people that really want to become uh, holy and righteous and loving and godly and so forth in the way that Jesus was. But Paul says the mechanism, part of the, the way to this end, is that we have to take the teachings that God gives in his word because they're dynamic, they're life-giving, they're motivating, they're inspiring, they're directive, they're corrective. We need to take these teachings and we need to hold to them. We, we need to internalize them, um, if not memorize them, at least in, internalize the principles of them so that we can actually live them out. We can actually do what they say. Now, it's interesting to me that there's a lot of emphasis in Scripture about this, this thing of standing firm and holding fast, in this case, holding fast to the teachings that had been passed on to them. When you've been a follower of Christ as long as I have, one of the things that you you see and you wish you didn't see but it apparently is um, an unavoidable phenomenon is that you will watch people who start out they appear to put their trust in Christ they start out following him because of their trust and they may be doing really well for some time maybe two three four five years even and then something occurs and they they get derailed and the degrees of derailment can be you know enormously different with some it's just a little discouragement a little backsliding they pull back from things for a while and then they get back on their feet with others it can be as though they never really trusted in Christ at all and it can go on for years or even for the rest of their life so this notion of being steadfast and persevering and enduring it's woven all through Scripture. Now, this is not meant to uh, create fear that, oh my goodness, are you saying, Randy, that you know we could we could lose our salvation if we fall away from the Lord? Well, that isn't the issue. The issue is though that we need to understand we live in a world where the pressure is counter. Uh, everything that we are bombarded by, particularly in the in the in the day and age we live, when messaging is is so you know, inescapable. Everything we're bombarded by, it's propagandizing us to think differently, to have different values, to make different decisions, to live in a different way, all contrary to the way that Christ created us to live and designed us to live, the way the Word of God guides us to live. So to hold fast to the teachings of the Word of God, it means that we have to be in somewhat of a vigilant state of mind. We have to be watching where we might be adrift or where we might be starting to be a little seduced by some of the things of this age, some of the teachings of this world, some of the propaganda of our times, bigger, better, newer, nicer, you know, more, more, more uh, achieve, regardless of who you have to bury in the process or step on, all, all these competitive, rivalry-oriented um, feelings and thoughts that are pumped at us day and night. We have to be careful, and we've got to make sure regardless of what everybody else is doing, maybe with even our own families, let them follow who they will. We're going to make up our mind. I'm going to follow Jesus. I want to partake of his glory. I want to learn how to live like he lives, love like he loves, 
And I know to do that, I've got to cling to his truth. I've got to internalize it. And I have to put it into practice in my life because we develop by doing. We, we become as we obey what God teaches in his word. Okay, we'll stop there today. And I hope you're holding fast to the teachings that we have in the word of God.